Welcome back to the TMBC Wake YouTube channel. the surfboard giveaway yet make sure to get over to that video and get yourself entered i'll put a link right above me i'll put a link in the description below and i'll put a link at the end of this video all right so in this video i'm going to share with you those tips and tricks that helped me to get my first surf 360 and help to improve it beyond that now keep in mind my trick tip series is less of a full tutorial and more so just giving you those big tips that helped me get over that threshold to nail a particular trick for the first time. And what that means is, um, in most cases, my trick tips videos will include specific tips to focus on to help you get over certain barriers um, and less of a step one through step 10 or what have you, uh, a step-by-step -step tutorial. Although this one may end up being a little bit more of a tutorial because um, I am gonna give you quite a few steps on this one. All right, so that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. And I'll start off by showing you a video of the first time I ever got my Surf 360. Now it took me probably about 50 to 100 attempts before I actually got this. So, um, you know, some people out there have natural talent, but I would say most people don't give up after a few tries or even after 20 tries, you know, keep going and be persistent. So that is tip number one is be persistent. Just keep at it. Make sure that you do not give up keep trying over and over again um, you'll get better and better and uh, don't lose hope you'll get it and big tip number two is your surfboard setup um, the best surfboard setup I could recommend is first of all one middle fin near the back so you either need a board that has one middle fin or one that has either a three fin setup or a five fin setup and you just keep the one middle fin I do think that a skim style board makes it a little bit easier to turn, um, but surf style boards are gonna do a better job of keeping you in the wave. Um, so you take your pick of those two. I strongly believe that if you have one middle fin, it's gonna help you a lot with getting this trick for your first time. Also, you want that fin to be a fairly substantial fin, probably around this size. Um, so you don't want a, a mega surf style fin, you know, something more in this range. Um, you don't want a skim fin that's this, tiny guy um, or a whiteboard style fin. Uh, that's kind of your typical pro uh, skimboard fin is this size. Um, so you want something in the middle there. And the reason for this is because fins are designed to keep you going in a particular direction. So on a surf style board, you're really using your fins to turn the board. The fins are gonna tell the board what direction to go. And on a skim style board, you have the rail and the fins. Really in a 360 scenario, the only thing that I care about having the fin for is a pivot point. So you're pivoting around that, that fin and then also something to stop your spin when you're done spinning. Uh, in this 360 video, you can see that I have a, a skim style fin and that's why I'm sliding a little bit backwards at the end of my rotation. Um, so obviously you'll have two extremes. If you have a surf style board that has uh, a big fin or multiple big fins, um, you're going to have a harder time initiating the spin and having a hard time getting it to not to spin, not to turn back once you've initiated the spin. Um, and but with bigger fin, with a bigger fin, you'll have an easier time stopping the spin. Um, and when you have a small fin, you're going to have a really easy time initiating the spin and getting spun around really quickly. You're going to have a really hard time stopping the spin. So that's why you want something in between. All right, so my third big tip is that you want to have a low center of gravity. So what that means is you need to bend your knees. You can do, the, do a little bit of a bend, and you can, you can get all the way down to a squat, as I'll, I'll show you in a video right here, what I call a low and slow 360. Now, if you don't have good knees, it's gonna be hard to get into that squat position, and I can't tell you it's easy to, to get spun all the way around in that squat position, but a little harder to um, come out of that. 
and, and continue on. Um, but something in between is probably good. Along with keeping a low center of gravity, you will also want to make sure that your body and your weight distribution stays level all the way through the turn. So you'll see in this shot here where I'm slowing it down that as I turn, my knees and my legs and my feet are adjusting, but my weight distribution is mostly staying level. And that's very important. If it gets off axis, then the board is likely to slip out in one direction or the other as you turn around. The next tip is use your back hand to grab the wave and pull yourself. So you can see me sticking my hand in the wave and pulling myself around. Um, now if you do the low and slow maneuver, you can actually grab the back of the board with your front hand so that your board stays with you and that makes it easier to stay level. Um, whereas if you're not holding onto the board, it's harder to stay level, but it can be done both ways. But the main tip is use your hand to push yourself into that spin. So you're not only going to turn into it, uh, now you're not only going to turn your body into it and your head into it, but you're going to use your hand to initiate to stick it in the wave and push that spin. Okay, so now the next step is to do what dancers call spotting. So you want to kind of have you want to have a you want to pick a spot in front of you as you're riding forward before you initiate your spin that you can pay attention to before you turn and then keep your eyes on it as you're initiating the spin right as your spin starts take your head and whip it around and look for that exact same spot again now that's something i don't do all the time but it is something that's helpful for all spin whether you're doing dancing spins wakeboard spins surf spins snowboard spins if you can get used to spotting, then you, you're going to have a much more successful spin. And it'll help you to continue to do more spins on top of that spin when you're working on future tricks. Okay, so if you're doing all of those previous steps well, then the last thing should be just basically stopping the rotation. And the spotting tip should really help you. If you can turn around and spot that specific location, it should stop your body from rotating. Um, but if you have trouble with over rotating, then you can actually do the opposite of what I told you with putting your hand in the wave and pushing your, pushing your spin or initiating your spin by pushing your hand in the boat. And you can turn, when you get all the way turned around, you can actually put both hands in the wave and paddle towards the boat and that will stop your spin as well. Another tip that would help you before you do a 360 spin would be to ride switch even if it's with the rope and get used to just surfing switch because you're going to have a lot easier time spinning a 360 if you do it one 180 at a time so in other words you spin a 180 ride a 180 for a split second and then your your body's naturally going to want to spin out of that because you're not riding in your normal direction and what that will help you with is it'll help you with with continuing to ride down the wave as opposed to falling back as you spin and, and as you've seen in several of my videos, and I'll show you right here, that uh, when I do my spin, uh, I am, I'm falling back a little ways in the wave. So, um, you know, the bigger the wave and the longer the wave you have, the more room for error that you will have. Um, but if you get used to uh, spinning a 180 and riding that 180 down the wave still, and then your body's naturally going to spin out of that another 180 and start going your normal way, then you're going to be more successful in your spin because you won't be falling out of the wave as you do your spin. So those are all my biggest tips for spinning your first Surf 360. I hope these tips help you. If you're having trouble anywhere along the line, try to refer back to these tips and make sure you're working on each one of these. Um, there's not one of these tips that I've not worked on or improved over time as I've gotten my 360s. And I think if you were to use all these tips, and you were persistent and didn't give up, I think that you would be able to get your first Surf 360 within a reasonable amount of time. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please leave comments below if you have something to say about it or if you have other tips to help other people do this trick. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and please click that notifications bell so you can be notified of my future videos. I'll see you next week.